Hello everyone, and welcome to my review of the Magnica Metis Vulcan Heavy Bowgun. This is going to be your choice heavy bowgun for spamming a monster down with cluster bomb ammo level three. It's one of those explosive damage heavy bowguns. There's quite a few of them. We've got Groovin Lazuko, we've got the Shara Ishvalda, we've got the Rajang Destroyer, we've got Savage Devil Joe, and Magnica Metis uh, Vulcan. <laughs> and they added that third part to the name. Just makes the name really long, doesn't it? Was it necessary? Couldn't they just like say Magnica Metis 2 or something like that? Who knows? Anyways, what's interesting about this heavy bowgun is that for its clip of cluster bomb ammo, I noticed this before when we were looking at the heavy bowguns for the first time, it gets an extra shot of cluster bomb ammo. So by default, it has two shots of the cluster bomb three. When you add free element ammo up, it goes up to three shots. And this allows you to spam the cluster bombs even faster than usual. Now, I feel like that's balanced by the fact that cluster bombs in Monster Hunter World you just don't get as many of them as you used to in reserves. So the truth is, if you're fighting a monster with a decent amount of health, you're going to run out of cluster bombs. That's the truth. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the build. Set decorations. So, here we go. You'll notice I have attack boost 5. The game kind of must build attack boost. That's right. So, when you're building for cluster bombs, there's really not a lot you can do with it. Because cluster bombs, what do they need? Free element ammo up and, and spare shot. And in this case, it's going to be true razor sharp spare shot, right? We're going with true, sh true spare shot on the Narga Kuga set. And, and that's because when it comes to cluster bombs, they don't need affinity. They don't need crit boost. They don't need, you know, true crit element or anything like that. Basically, they just run off of your attack values. Whereas when it comes to like the wyvern ammo or the sticky ammo, those run off of artillery, right? Now, artillery, by the way, does not affect your cluster bombs. So you gotta have attack boost, agitator, and peak performer or performance for the cluster bombs. Artillery is for the wyvern ammo, right? And both of these both of these ammo types are gonna benefit from true spare shot, right? Uh, so we were able to afford the Narga Kuga set here because uh, really having the extra chance to get that bullet out is a big deal thanks to the lack of reserves for cluster bomb ammo and just the fact that we have so little to build. You know what I mean? Like, we don't actually have to have health boost 3. We could have a attack boost 7 if we wanted. Uh, you know, we could probably drop this flawless and turn it into a shield mod. Just speaking of the shield mod, let's talk about customizing the bowgun. So, I, I tinkered around with this. There's so many different ways you could do this. You could take four levels of recoil suppressor if you want to be able to fire the cluster bombs even faster, right? Oh, in this case, we take reload assist three because rather than shooting the cluster bombs faster, I want to be able to reload them faster, and this allows me to reload the wyvern ammo faster as well. We could also drop the close range up mod for a shield mod. So that's also very tempting. You could drop the recoil suppressor mod and take a shield mod. I mean, you could just have very high recoil on your cluster bombs. I'm sorry, not very high, high recoil on your cluster bombs. And it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be a big, yeah, I tell you what, let's do that for this. It, it wouldn't make a big difference in my opinion. So we'll, we'll just demonstrate that. So we're gonna have the shield mod on. Okay, so it could look like this. Uh, and let's go ahead and choose a monster to fight. All right, we'll just go ahead and check the quest board here. Let's go ahead and post a new quest, Investigations. Oh, Brute Tigrix is a pretty decent choice, actually, because he stays on the ground, he doesn't fly. You know, a monster that flies is harder to get cluster bombs on. Yeah, let's do, I, I like this. We'll just do Brute Tigrix. Where's this Elder's Recess? So I tell you what, if we're going to go to Elder's Recess, let's go ahead and grab a cool drink, just in case we land in the lava. Uh, the game's really fond of dropping you off in the middle of the fight, aren't, isn't it? Now let's go have a meal real fast. So an ideal meal would probably be a tack up large and bombardier in this case. Oh, no bombardier, that's okay. We'll take the attack up large. Attack up large is going to be affecting your cluster bombs. All right, and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, here we are. I am so ready to beat down on this Tigrex. Where do you think he is? My guess would be that he's in the lava. That would make the most sense to me. It looks like I haven't researched him enough, so I need to I need to get, get some footprints or something. I need to fight him more often. What is this? That's Bond Bro. <laughs> All right, we are going down in the lava. Let's have this cool drink ahead of time. You know, I should have been eating my other buff too. That's a hot drink. We don't need that. Oh, I forgot to refresh my ammo loadout. Okay, hopefully I haven't spent any ammo. Oh, there he is right there. Here's a mite seed. We'll have the demon powder after that. Come back, Brute Tigrix. 
I'm gonna grab this track. We need the research. Track the monster. Let's do it, guys. Brute Tigrix tracks. Oh yeah. Ooh, maybe some Gajalaka over here. Oh, awesome, Gajalaka. Get your booty over here. You gonna get mad? Come on. Come on, get mad. Brr, he's so mad. Dude, where are you going, man? He doesn't want to play. All right. Just waiting. Come on. Oh. There we go. You couldn't see it, but I actually got roared by him off screen there. <laughs> you couldn't see my character. Look at that. True spare shot proccing for us multiple times. That's useful. All right. He's going to be mad. Come on, man. We're just having fun. Nice. A little turf war. That's definitely helpful. Where can we find some rocks, by the way? We need some rocks. Agitator's active. We'll grab these. Guess we don't need the rocks now that Agitator's active. Guess we should have been cluster bombing him that whole time. Or we could use our wyvern ammo. That's weird. We had a cluster bomb? No, we're not at a cluster bomb. I'm losing my mind, guys. <laughs> Don't do it. I don't know how good this shield is doing us. Dude, this guy roars so much, man. Let's get our cluster bomb level 2 out as well. That's another thing. So I was comparing this to the Raging Destroyer. And there's like a temptation to use the Raging Destroyer. But one of the major differences between this and Raging Destroyer is you get your cluster bomb level 2, man. Cluster bomb level 2, you get sleep ammo, which is a kind of a big deal. Right? Sleep ammo. Alright, we get that fast reload. This is going to hurt. Ooh, that hurt a lot. Holy cow, man. This guy is serious business. Let's go ahead and have our max potion. You can see our health bar kind of finished off there. Holy cow, man. Oh. I like how instead of doing the spin that, that regular Tigrix would do, he does a nasty roar. Alright, let's heal up. Maybe get some peak performance shots out too. Peak performance is active. Get him, Gastodon. We got a Gastodon on our team. Easy win. Easy win, I say. How do you lose with the Gastodon? Oh, he's coming. Oh, that hurts. I tried to roll that just in case it was an attack. Oh, that was an attack. Let's go ahead and heal up. Doot. So I did go with health regen on the uh, build because instead of having that extra damage, I thought it would be useful to be able to heal off of the wyvern ammo. And if you're speed running, obviously you wouldn't do that. Shoot you in the booty. Shoot you in the booty to hootie. Oops, wasn't reloading that quite correctly. Shoot you again. Love the Wyvern Ammo. Wyvern Ammo is so good. Wyvern Ammo is so good at causing a stun on a monster. And it's so good at healing, too. It's, it's just really unbelievable. Always loved Wyvern Ammo. You guys know, I it, you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, that I often use the Griffin Blazooka, specifically for Wyvern Ammo. We're relying on it right now to get us that good heal. Oh, man. We guarded it. Oh, ooh, 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 that did not work out the way I thought it would, but you know what, it worked out, let's see if he gets us here, nope, we're still alive, let's go ahead and take off this mantle, I think it's time to put him to sleep, what do you guys think? Three, oh, and he's going to sleep, do I have any, oh man, if I was, if I was ready for that, what I would have done is I would have shot him with the uh, wyvern ammo while he was falling asleep, which is something you can do to get a little extra damage, but we just weren't ready. So we put him to sleep after the mantles run out, because it just kind of makes sense to do that to me. Oops, do we have it all? I think we're out. Yeah, we're out of the cluster bombs after this. So, And that's the main problem, really, with this setup. You just kind of run out. You're going to run out. He's going to jump us. Okay. What next? Let's go ahead and reload this 
wyvern ammo while we can. And one of the nice things about this setup is you also have paralysis ammo. How nice is that? Oh, he's trying to leave. Nope. We don't want you to leave. We want you to stay here. Alright, so we do have high recoil on the sticky ammo 3. Enough to get a KO, perhaps? Alright, there he goes. He's KO'd. Nice, one shot. He is within capturable range, everyone. That is capturable range. Oh, come on, man. Oh, please, dude. Is he gonna fight us here? Oh, man, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> there we go, we are done. And you know, that wouldn't have happened if it was an Elder Dragon or a Tempered Brute Tigrex, obviously what would have happened is we would have ran out of ammo, and in that case, we would use a Farcaster to return to camp. That's what Farcasters do. They take you to the nearest camp, even if you're in combat. Most of you probably already knew that, but I thought I'd mention it just to be nice to people who didn't know. <laughs> what did you think of that? So, again, we could have gone like three times recoil to get the cluster bombs to come out faster, but... Honestly, it was more important that we could run through the Wyvern ammo. The Wyvern ammo kind of saved us there in terms of having enough damage to bring him down. You know, we got a powerful wake up. Uh, we were running through a lot of our shots of Wyvern, and that fast reload, I feel, is actually more valuable than uh, having four recoil for the cluster bombs. I think only if you were trying to speedrun a monster, and you're speedrunning over and over and over again, and hoping that you get like seven procs of true spare shot on the cluster bombs, that would probably be the only time you run all those recoil mods. But if you're trying to have like a go-to build, like what I was just showing you right there, you're probably going to be bringing the, uh, you're probably going to be bringing the reload assist. All right, and we're back at camp. You know, I think that went by too fast. Let's have another one. Let's have another one. We're going to refresh our items. I think you'll remember we actually didn't have refreshed items at the start of that last fight. And who should we fight next? Brute Tigrex was a, was a good example. He was easy. He was too easy. Brute Tigrex, Silver Rathalos would be harder. Silver Rathalos would be a lot harder. Rei Zhang, Namiel is a pretty good example, I think. Val Zok, I'm not ready for Val. Savage Devil Joe. Who are we going to fight? Narga Kuga. Falcana. Falcana is always a fun fight. Ooh, here's a City Glavinus. Ooh, do we have a good... Let's do this one. Yeah, let's do this one. I like this one. All right. Acidic Glavinus with a whole bunch of good rewards. That'll be great because all of his weapons are so nice. We already refreshed our items. Let's go have a meal. I tell you what, I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, we are here. Where do you suppose he is? He's right behind us, of course. Let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, it's not what I thought it was. We're looking for any kind of pod. That's a smoke nut. <laughs> Probably already ran over a pod by now. Pods, they're everywhere until you need one. And it says that there should be one over here. Am I missing something? We're gonna be aggro. Oh, here we go. They're like hidden in the bushes. Don't do it. He's bad. He's bad. Tell you what, let's have our demon drug first. And we're gonna have our my seed. And we're going to have our demon powder. So we're all jacked up. And now we want to run him into the wall. Oh god, he's going to throw me off. Yeah, god dang it, dude. He doesn't use that move twice because he's not enraged yet. Got him. Two. Perfect. We're going to agitate him right there from that. That was perfect. Go ahead and have this Mega Potion real fast. Alright, we're full health. We'll put this on now. So, Agitator's going to be activated as soon as he stands up. And we're going to have Peak Performance. It's very important. Ooh, 121 per shot. Awesome. Also, it looks like we're hidden in the bushes. What do you guys think? I think we're hidden in the bushes. He's like, where is he? Right here, bitches! <laughs> Turf War. Oh, yes. Yes! Perfect timing for that. Oh, 
but Garen's like, I ain't letting you get away with that. Come on, man. Don't run away. Oh, he totally ran away. <laughs> get out of here, Odegaren. Nah, he was useful. I shouldn't say that. I should be think saying, thank you, Odegaren. You're the best. You're my best pal. What? How'd he come back? Whoa, there's two of them? Well, I'm not even going to have to fight this guy. He's just going to die from all the turf wars. God. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. Temporal Mandel coming in handy. Here's Cluster Bombs too. This is going to suck. Oh, yeah. I'm at risk. Don't do it, Odegaren. Don't do it! Oh my god. Alright, and we have Rocksteady Mantle. Let's go ahead and get that on. Here's a little clearing. Is he going to turn his attention? Yes, he is. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. We're still alive. And... Oh, I thought we were going to be dead right there. But we're not. Give me my Wyvern Ammo. <laughs> Just see me roll through that tail attack. Awesome. Come on. You want to freak with me? Come on, man. Odo Farron. Odo Poopy Face. Shoot you in the face. So once again, we are using our Wyvern ammo. It is nice for healing. Getting tons of damage out on these guys. He's going to sleep. Let's see if we can get a shot on before Odo Garen wakes him up. Oh, nope. He's woke up. That's too bad. That's really too bad, man. Nice. We are bleeding, however. So no more peak performance for us. God dang. Go away, Odegaren. Is this guy already limping? He looks like he's already limping, doesn't he? Oh my god. He's already limping, guys. It's too easy. Cluster bombs return. My drink ammo. We gotta get ahead of him before this bleed takes over. Alright, drink ammo. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't ruin things. Oh, yes, we're out of here. <laughs> Frick you, Odegaren. Uh, they helped, though, you know. They really did. They did the two turf wars, and that's like... I don't know how much damage that is, but I'm sure that that helped. So we had a little bit of help. But, I mean, how, how fast did we finish that? We finished that in... Four and a half minutes is really not bad. <laughs> Four and a half minutes. Acidic Glavinus. Cluster bombs, cluster bombs. See, it's just not all cluster bombs, though. It is also the wyvern ammo. I feel like the wyvern ammo is important here for this playstyle. Nice, we got a mantle out of that. Okay, here we are. So, just to wrap things up, I'm going to talk a little bit about the build again. For those of you who maybe are still newer to this and not understanding everything that's going on, once again, attack boost, agitator, peak performance, those are all damaging skills that boost the cluster bomb ammo, which really only requ requires attack boosting skills in order to get the damage up. Free element ammo up is giving us an extra shot of cluster bombs and then true a true spare shot. You don't use the other half, the razor sharp part of the skill, you don't use that. True spare shot is causing us to have free shots of ammo occasionally. It's better than the regular spare shot, okay? Uh, we have the health regen augmentation, and for our uh, mods, we have triple reload assist, close range up, and shield. You can drop the shield and have recoil. Uh, I can't remember if the shield really helped me too much. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Rocksteady mantle and tempor uh, temporal mantle are both pretty standard as well for cluster bomb builds. You just kind of wear those and the monster can't stop you, right? All right. Perfect. Let me know what you thought of those fights. Let me know what weapon you want to see next. I think I'm about done with all of the heavy bow guns, so I think it's about time to move on to the next weapon class. What do you guys think? Or should I do maybe a heavy bow gun, uh, top five heavy bow guns at this point? Should I do maybe like a heavy bow gun, how to play it guide? I might do those types of videos before I move on. Uh, but I, I'm pretty much done with the heavy bow guns, I think. All right, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.